my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support if you are a returning subscriber god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe please click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you always enjoy every content that i upload so dear friends today i am very happy very excited because today's video is going to be a story time yes we have another beautiful online dating success love story that is very very unique it's gonna teach you a lot of things if you are on online dating app searching i'm going to pity you if you skip this video please watch it till the end because you have a lot guys to learn from this love story because the lady who shared with us her love story stayed on online dating apps for four years so due to that she has got enough experience that is why she's going to be giving you tips on how to find the one she's also going to be sharing with you the names of the dating apps that she tried and the name of the dating app where she found the one so guys you see we have got new new dating apps that you even don't know about <laughs> this is very very exciting guys but not only that i've been getting comments from ladies asking me bella how will i choose the country of men i am interested in because maybe i am in africa i am in dubai i am in korea but i'm not interested in men from my area i'm interested in dating men from let's say America Australia Canada Europe but they keep on bringing men from my own location local men and I don't want that so how will I do that so from this video I am going to be showing you how to choose the country of men you are interested in online dating apps I know you are happy and smiling because you have been asking yourself this question I get this a lot so guys I don't want to waste much of your time with this intro let us jump into our video right now so dear friends uh, this video will be about a Tanzanian lady 33 years of age by the name of happy who found love on online dating apps after four years I know if you are on online dating apps and you're watching this video you'll be like oh my god so that means I'm going to be staying four years before I find the one no guys some people stay only a week others two weeks others a month and others spend years before they find the one so we don't know how long you're going to be staying online before you find the one but guys my intention to tell you these stories is to help you learn and also simplify your search so that you can find that right man very fast yes so friends every lady that joins on online dating apps has her own reasons to why she joined on online dating apps what pushed her it can be maybe due to bad relationship experience of the past or she wants to try something new or she wants to date men from a different race so that takes us to know why happy joined on online dating apps what pushed her what was her past relationship love experience like was she dating a tanzanian guy and if yes how was it like her relationship was it a good one or a bad one so guys the answer is yes happy was in a relationship with a tanzanian guy they fell in love everything went super good they took their relationship to the next level which is getting married they got married and they had one cute kid as days went on this guy started changing and her marriage became a living hell she also came to find out that the man who got married to her was still illegally married to another lady happy got disappointed felt lied too because yes you get married to a man and you think that maybe you know him very very well come to discover that he lied to you you feel like a fool yes that's the feeling that you feel when a man lies to you so in the end guys happy asked for the divorce after three years of marriage so friends after the divorce happy stayed single for a while 
hard to heal and when she felt like she was ready to start a new relationship then she started dating but her experience wasn't the good one at all with tanzanian men or we might say african men most of them that she came across by were only interested in her goodies <laughs> We all know how black men are so obsessed with curvy ladies and happy is the curvy one. So most men who would come to want a relationship with her were only interested in sex and happy tells us that she has got a very totally different view about relationships. What matters for her in a relationship or how she thinks a relationship should be should have love, affection, care, being romantic, you know, connection, bond, all those things. That is how she sees a relationship. But most men were not giving her that apart from taking their goodies. It is the only thing that they were interested in. So she kept on trying dating different men but felt very exhausted because she could give a lot and get in return nothing, which is a very, very bad thing. You know, when you're in a relationship with a guy, I've said this before, when you give your all, the man too should give you the all. That is what it means when we say a healthy relationship. Not only you giving your all and the man isn't giving you his all. So Happy sat down and was like, Happy, you are a very good woman. Why should you waste your time with men who don't give you what you are looking for? I said, guys, if you're dating a guy, you should make sure that he gives you everything that you ever wanted in a man. If you're not getting that, don't settle. Keep searching, keep praying, and God will bring you exactly the man you are searching for. Yes, don't be like, no, maybe I should settle with this one because I won't be able to find another one. No, guys, you still have a chance. So Happy was like, I'm a very good woman. I deserve a good man. And that is when she was like, I'm going to start my journey to search for my white king. I know right now you're confused. Why a white king? <laughs> Let me take you back to Happy's teenage days. She tells us when she was a teenager, dreamt of getting married to a Dutch guy. And why a Dutch guy? <laughs> You ask yourself lots, lots of questions and I'm going to give you the answers, don't worry. <laughs> so, Happy's mother, when she was a teenager, went to Netherlands to study. That was 1992 and when she was there in the Netherlands, there is a family who hosted her. So she stayed there for a year and after one year, her mother returned to Tanzania. She was talking very, very highly of that Dutch family that hosted her when she was there studying. Very, very good, that they are very good people, very kind, treated her very well when she was in the Netherlands. So after one year, Papi's mother had to invite that Dutch family that hosted her when she was in the Netherlands to come to Tanzania, visit Tanzania and see her whole family because they had become like family friends. So this Dutch family came to Tanzania. They had three kids, two sons and one daughter. So Happy tells us that the sons were, you know, old enough and had a crush on one of the sons. <laughs> Never told anyone that she had a crush on that boy. <laughs> Kept it as her secret. <laughs> when you are in your teenage days, I think you can relate. <laughs> Crushes can make you lack sleep. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Have you ever had a crush? If yes, please comment in the comment section by saying, yes, I had a crush and tell us how was it like? <laughs> Were you lacking sleep? <laughs> so this Dutch family stay in Tanzania with Happy's family. They really enjoyed their company. They were very kind, very good people, very fun to be around. And Happy was like, yes, my mother was right. So this family left and returned to the Netherlands. But Happy from that day told herself, when I grow up, I want to get married 
to a Dutch guy. But as you know how life is, she did not get married to a Dutch guy at first. She got married to a Tanzanian guy. But getting married to a Dutch guy, it was her teenage dream. So guys, we all know if you have a dream, you have to put actions into it. <laughs> <laughs> to make it happen, right? So Happy started putting actions to her dream of getting married to a Dutch guy. <laughs> and she started with offline strategy. If you watched my last video when Toma was advising you guys try online dating app strategy, pair it with offline strategy. But for Happy, she started with offline strategy which is go places and look for her white king. So she tells us her journey started when she decided to go to these five stars hotels where her white men stay when they go to Africa. <laughs> yes, so she tells us she used to go to hotels in Tanzania like Ramada Hotel, Giraffe Hotel and those hotels are very very expensive but she wasn't going there to sleep, no. <laughs> she could go there with the intention of swimming so she could take her swimming costumes <laughs> and when she arrives there, goes swimming after swimming, applies her sunscreen, then sunbathe or read a book, chilling, looking around if she can find a white guy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so she used to do that, go to those hotels, order for food, drinks, swim, you know, enjoy herself, but on her search <laughs> for a white man. But she tells us most white men were busy with their own staffs, nobody approached her <laughs> till one day came across this white guy he was from the uk and started talking to her then this guy was like has a friend an african friend who is going through a breakup so he is going to see that friend to comfort her so as they were talking this white guy asked happy do you want to sleep with me <laughs> So it was like, no, <laughs> the guy said, okay, finished his drink and went. So after this guy left, Happy started asking herself lots, lots of questions like, how did this guy think of me? Why ask me if I want to sleep with him? Then she was like, this is too much torture for the sake of the white man. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to be coming anymore to these hotels to search for a white man. And that is when she came across a friend who recommended her online dating apps. That is when her journey of online dating apps started. So guys, her first online dating app to try was Tinder, the famous one. <laughs> yeah, so when she joined, after a few days, found a guy from Poland and this guy pretended to be very, very good, a decent guy, until they exchanged WhatsApp numbers, started talking on a video call. Whenever they could talk on a video call with this guy, the phone could be shaking. <laughs> So she didn't understand at first, then the second time they talked, the same thing happened. The phone was shaking, so she had to ask, why is your phone shaking? <laughs> Are you doing it? Because she suspected maybe this guy is masturbating. The guy said, yes, oh my god. She felt very, very weird, but because she didn't have enough experience, she was like, as long as it's him who is doing it, I'm not going to, you know, take it as a big deal. So they continued talking. Every time they could talk, the same thing could happen. So this guy, she tells us, thinks he must be a sex addict, yes because it was too, too much, because all the time they talk, he's busy. <laughs> oh my God, on online dating apps, till you find the one, you will come across weird, weird people. <laughs> so that was her first experience, and after some time, she came to find out the guy wasn't serious, he was only addict online, so she had to end it. So she kept on chatting with different men, others came and asked for nude photos. You know how these players can be on online dating apps. Men who are only there 
to waste ladies time but not looking for something serious so guys then came her second bad experience on tinder she started chatting with a guy this guy was good talking very nicely told her he works at the UN but in Tanzania so when happy heard that she was like oh my god this is a very good opportunity that the guy is here it is going to be very good for us to meet they started planning on how to meet and this guy told her where to meet in a certain cafe happy accepted then this guy told happy i'm going to send my driver to come pick you i'm going to also send you my driver's number so that you can call him you communicate till he comes to pick you from where you are so happy took the phone numbers of the driver called him and then the driver was like my boss is here for a few days he only have foreign money he doesn't have tanzanian shillings so you'll have to send me money i put fuel in the car to come pick you because happy was very excited wanted to meet this guy so bad sent this fuel money to the driver and after sending that money she got blocked not only by the driver but also by this guy that pretended to work at the UN so just like that she got scammed but I think I told you a story of my friend who got scammed too by these tinder guys who pretend to work at the UN be very very careful with them if you start chatting with a guy on tinder make sure you see him on a video call and when he brings money talks please block that guy immediately because most of them use the photos of white guys they know black women are interested in white men that is why they are on tinder so they are going to pretend that they are white guys and in the end they're going to scam your money and then block you so after that experience she became more and more careful and was gaining more experience as time went by so when a guy could come and be like i'm working at the un i am in tanzania or i work in kenya at the un she could know that that guy is a liar so she could tell them that why is that most white guys are working in these UN projects everyone is working in the UN projects <laughs> so when she could say that a guy could block her and it ends there <laughs> so after those bad experience on tinder she kept on trying different dating apps I'm going to be writing all of the names of the dating apps that she tried on in this video so that you can try your luck who knows you might find the one in one of those dating apps that I'm going to be sharing with you. She joined another new dating app and that is when her worst experience on online dating apps happened. So guys, after Happy joining that new dating app, she started chatting with a guy from America, an American guy. She was so happy and started seeing herself in America, you know, living that American dream. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy was so kind was so nice he could share with happy all his daily activities he could talk on a video call everything was super super good it couldn't pass a day without them communicating then after chatting for a while i think like four months and at that stage happy took that guy as his boyfriend so she attached herself to that guy emotionally because this guy was giving her attention talking with her you know telling her beautiful words romantic words you know we ladies we love to hear beautiful words romantic words a guy to treat you right and when he does that you fall in love you attach yourself <laughs> But I have been advising you ladies to protect your heart. Please, please do not attach yourself to a guy emotionally before you know this guy's real intentions, before this guy shows you actions. Yes, because if you attach yourself and this guy maybe was just fantasizing, was just passing time, was just playing mind games, you are going to get hurt. Yes you'll be heartbroken when the guy runs away so yes you can chat with a guy he can tell you beautiful beautiful words 
I'm not telling you not to attach yourself, then you become rude, you become absent when the guy is talking to you, you are not there at all, you're like, I don't want to attach myself. <laughs> no, I'm not meaning that. When a guy comes with, you know, positive energy, show him the same positive energy. Go with that flow <laughs> so that you see where it will take you. But don't attach yourself emotionally. Just attach yourself when things start getting serious. He starts showing you real, real actions. So Happy attached herself to this American guy and after four months, this guy ghosted her. So she could send messages, a guy could read not responding. She got very frustrated, checked her friends, told them that please try to talk to him because I don't know what is happening. He's not answering my calls. He's not answering my messages. He has disappeared completely. The friend called the guy, told him that I am happy's friend. She's very, very worried because she's trying to call you. You're not responding, sending you messages you are not replying to the messages what is happening the guy blocked the friend and went blocked happy <laughs> that is how they play their games if you're chatting with a guy and then he starts ghosting you you see him online he's not replying to you he's not answering your call please don't chase this man just leave him alone because he is no longer interested you are just playing mind games please please because no matter how you call him no matter how you send him messages this guy will never be a good guy i'm telling you you might force 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 and he sees you're disturbing him he comes just with you for a while and again ghost you when you see that i advise you to just leave the guy alone keep searching the right guy is going to come trust me <laughs> so happy continued on online dating apps to search for the one and as she was searching the friend who told her about the dating apps had a group of tanzanian ladies who are only interested in getting married to white men and they are looking for those white men so one of the ladies in their group shared my video thank you girl <laughs> <laughs> How is it like to date men from different countries? She tells me or she tells you that after watching that video, she was very, very happy because you know she was interested in getting married to a Dutch man and in the list of the countries I talked about, Netherlands was among them, Dutch men, I talked about them. She was very, very happy after confirming that I said Dutch men are good, they are family people, they are good fathers, and everything I talked about Dutch men made her happy. So after watching that video, she said, I'm going to concentrate on Dutch men, Italian men, men from Germany, Norway, and Poland. So what she did after watching my video went on the settings on that dating app that I'm going to be sharing with you before I end this video where she found the one and then adjusted on the countries she is interested in. So after choosing the countries that she is interested in, she used to go through men's profiles and see if they match with the criteria she is looking for. She tells us she used to choose a lot, like choose very, very much. <laughs> and then send messages to guy that she was interested in. Sometimes she could get tired and send automated messages that the dating apps created cause they bring different matches for you and tell you if you want to make the first move. So she could just click on all and messages could be sent to all men. But something that she did not like, messages could go to also black men because the matches that they could suggest for her included also black men that she was not interested in. So she decided to stop sending those automated messages and was like, I'm going to send one by one. I write the message, the first approach and send to the guy that I like. So she tells us she wasn't paying, she was using the dating app for free. So while browsing through men's profile, she could come those cute guys that she was really interested in. Those guys were not using the site for free, they were paying. So she had an opportunity to send that first message to them. She could do that, but no one paid attention to her. 
she got very frustrated and was like god where am i going wrong i'm doing everything but no one is paying attention to me i've been here for so so long what is wrong with me <laughs> and guys i totally understand happy being depressed frustrated just because she's not getting the response from guys she's making the first move but no one is even paying attention to her <laughs> You know, as a lady, you can be like, maybe I am ugly. And we can see Happy is a curvy lady. So sometimes ladies be like, maybe because I am curvy, I am plus size. That is why these white guys don't want to pay attention to me. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, that's not the case. It's because it's not yet God's time to bring that right man to you. Because ladies who have found love on live dating apps, they've been through that too. So you who is making the first move, but you're not getting the response back, keep sending. One day, the guy that God created for you will respond to you. So friends, when Happy took the break, she did not just take a break and continue with her life. No, she wanted to get answers from God. Why is that? Her relationship life is like that real life nothing is working men are asking for goodies only <laughs> and when it comes to online dating apps men are just playing mind games on her and the serious ones that she thinks they are serious they're not responding to her so she decided that the time that she was giving online dating apps decided to give that time to god dedicated it to god talked to god prayed and started tithing she could give her 10 percent of her income to god kept on praying told god that please show me the way show me the one and when the one comes please god show me that sign that he is the one you are the only one who knows what i want in a man you know my needs god please help me and also started fasting and guys happy tells us that when she took a break dedicated her time to god she was at her happy place became very happy she wasn't on online dating app searching but she was very happy and believed in god that that white man that she wants as a husband is there waiting for her she kept her faith very very high so after taking a break and she felt she was at her happy place she was a very happy person a very positive person she came with that full energy back to the dating apps ready to fight the battle <laughs> this brings me to the advice that she gives you all ladies that are on online dating apps searching go on online dating apps when you are at your happy place when you are at your best because when you're at the best you will be able to give the best to the one the man that you will find on online dating apps so make sure you are at peace so guys after happy returning back to the dating apps full of energy what did she do she decided to go again and adjust her settings think i've been too choosy i'm choosing a lot and i think if i continue choosing this much i'm not going to find the one so she went and changed on her settings where she wants her man to come from and this time she did not put any country but selected all all countries but on the ethnicity she chose caucasian white which means she only wanted white guys but countries all countries she did that to increase her chances to find the one this brings me to a very very important advice i want to give you ladies i've been sharing this advice to ladies that i'm chatting to on online dating apps most of you have been coming to me you're like bella i've been on online dating apps for so long but it's not working so i want to ask you a question if it's not working what have you done to change that i shared a video of how jerry found the one and she shared with you she could send 10 messages every day to different men but you who is watching this video 
if you watch that story you are on online dating app have you tried that trick if no then what are you doing on online dating apps because if you're on online dating apps you are giving it your time guys time is very very important so when you log in on your online dating profile make sure you do the right thing thing if i advise you guys send 10 messages you don't have that time of sending 10 messages send at least three there is a lady who did that and as i'm talking right now she found the one she followed that trick and it worked so if i've been sharing with you these tricks to change the situation of you staying on online dating apps and you're not finding anyone then you're not putting these things into actions i'm telling you you better take a break freshen up come back and apply these tricks to your online dating app profile yes dear beautiful ladies some of you come to me and be like bella i'm not getting any messages from men then i advise you if you're not receiving messages please be the one to approach these men but it doesn't mean when you approach a guy you, then you'll be the one to make that first move in everything no if you approach a guy he gets back to you you start the relationship a man should be a man so there is no problem if you approach a guy you're not receiving messages be the one to approach them because that way you are increasing your chances to find the one so i'm telling you today guys if you are on online dating apps please do the right thing you are not finding anyone you have been there for so long find out what you can do to change that and put it into actions so guys after happy changing the location of where she want the men to come from she continued browsing through men's profiles and one day she came across this profile of a guy from netherlands a dutch guy <laughs> that she wanted that she prayed for to god this guy's profile was very very nice it matched to what happy wanted he had photos of a goofy face <laughs> which made happy laugh so much and then decided to send that first message she said hi and said something about his goofy face so after sending that first message after an hour and so this guy replied back <laughs> so guys after replying back he asked for the whatsapp number so they exchanged phone numbers she was really really happy excited to talk to him so after exchanging phone numbers happy saved the phone numbers and decided to be the one to write to the guy she was like hi i am happy i am a girl we exchanged phone numbers on the dating app Alex replied and was like, okay, yes, I know. <laughs> it was during afternoon, talked a little bit, and then this guy went quiet. When so she tells us, after this Dutch guy keeping quiet, she was like, okay, that is how it all ends. This guy is gonna disappear like that, just like the way it has been happening with these guys on online dating apps. So she continued with everything that she was doing and before going to bed it was around 10 pm at night she decided to check her messages on online dating apps and guess what she found three messages from this dutch guy telling her i am sorry i was talking to my brother we we're talking of family things that is why i couldn't continue chatting with you so they started from there asking each other questions she tells us this Dutch guy, his name is Alex, was asking personal questions, which made her very, very happy because she tells us some people will just want to jump into a relationship with you without knowing you better, without wanting to know you as a person, as a human being, what are your hobbies, what are your aspirations everything no they just want to jump into a relationship start promising you i want to marry you but they don't want to get to know you so alex asking her very personal questions wanting to know more about her asking her about family really attracted happy more to alex and was like oh my god this guy seems to be a good guy so they continued talking from 10 p.m 
to 4 a.m. till when Alex told her, I want to go to bed to rest because tomorrow I'm starting to work. I was on my holiday. So they said good night and Alex promised to send her a message the next morning. So happy slept in a disbelief, <laughs> thinking that no, this must be a dream. <laughs> and in the morning when she woke up at 7 a.m. from Alex telling her, I am very sorry to keep you awake last night if you're still sleeping. <laughs> when she read that message, she started blushing and from there they began to talk. So they were very, very happy to find each other and they became very open from day one about each other. Alex told Happy, you can ask me any question that you want to ask and I'll answer you in a clarity. I'm not going to hide you anything. And this is what it means when I say the guy is the one, the guy is real, no corners. He's gonna be straight answer you with clarity everything is not gonna be like this is private <laughs> so guys as they kept on knowing each other they came to find out that they've got lots of things in common happy was divorced alex too <laughs> was divorced they both have kids they both have same interests they both love same colors they both love god they are both very funny they are introvert. oh my god, everything same, same, same. I'm telling you, when you trust in God, you talk to God, you ask him to bring you a man who will be for you, perfect for you, this is what it means. <laughs> so guys, because Alex was divorced and we remember Happy's past relationship experience, got married to a guy who lied to her that he was divorced but in real sense the guy was still married happy here was so so serious asked alex are you divorced or separated because those are two different things alex was like i am divorced and if you want me to show you the papers i will go check for those papers and show them to you that i am divorced so when they were talking cracking jokes Alex was like, when you asked me if I am really divorced or separated, I was like, this girl, someone might have screwed her up. <laughs> that is why she asked about that. But guys, it's very, very important. When you go to a man's profile, be very, very careful. When you see separated, please, please be careful because being separated doesn't mean divorce. And even if you're chatting with a guy who said he is divorced, then ask him like he should tell you the truth, the truth, if he is legally divorced or he is in the process so that you know if that relationship is gonna be a complicated one or it's not gonna be the complicated one. So guys, they continued chatting and every day their relationship could grow. Alex has introduced Happy to all people close to him, starting from his family and friends. When a guy loves you, he will want the whole world to know about you. Yes, that's the truth, guys. Take it from me, <laughs> from my own experience and from these stories that I am telling you. So last time when I was giving you the tips on how to know if the guy is the one, I told you a lady who was introduced to the ex-wife. <laughs> this is the story I was talking about. Alex went to an extent of introducing the ex-wife to Happy. The reason is, he says in the Netherlands, children rights are taken very very seriously so if you're going to date someone your ex should know about that person if you have kids and with alex the xy was the first one to move on so when she got the boyfriend introduced alex to the boyfriend so alex when he started talking with happy started dating her decided to introduce her to the ex-wife and to the kids so that when they talk, when the kids are around, they don't find it weird, they don't ask questions. Who is that? They talk freely. That means a guy who is the one, a guy who is serious, will want to make things clear to everyone. Also, Happy tells us that she has also introduced Alex to everyone in her family, 
they are happy for their relationship and also Alex's family is very happy with their relationship happy for them which means they have been accepted in both sides apart from introducing each other's family these people are doing everything together they pray together every night when alex before going to work when he prepares his breakfast he does that with happy when he is at work on his break he calls happy on a video call they talk when he returns home he cooks and they cook together on a video call actually guys happy has taught alex on how to cook swahili food a ugali pilau <laughs> and he's doing a great job this is very very good you ladies who have been asking i'm chatting with a guy but i don't know what to talk about these are the things to talk about teach him how to cook just like the way happy is doing but alex too is teaching happy on how to cook dutch food so guys something that is very very nice about this couple is that they have been chatting for a month plus almost a second month but the things they have shared together everything that i've talked about the actions that this guy has shown it's like they've known each other for so long so ladies when you are on online dating apps you start chatting with a guy he is open with you does everything with you like you are living together just like we see happy and alex you know the guy is the one don't go to the dating apps to search for another guy make your relationship strong and stronger i know guys there's some questions you ask yourself whenever i do a story and i cannot just let these questions go like that <laughs> i am going to answer them question number one is if alex is, is spoiling happy we see they've been chatting for just few time yes this guy is spoiling happy actually when they started talking he told happy that i know money conversation can be very hard in a relationship and sometimes a lady can feel shy to talk about money he said that because he saw that happy is a good woman not those women who will use a man for money so he told her that please please whenever you need anything just tell me i love you i am going to help you i am not a millionaire but i am going to try my best to make you happy be responsible and take care of you oh my goodness <laughs> I know you are like such men don't exist they still exist guys because happy too when she could watch success stories here such kind of men she could be like no this is impossible but guys she has witnessed and she was like bella i feel like going on mount kilimanjaro and shout i am loved <laughs> due to the love that alex is giving her no man has ever given her such kind of love and when alex told her that please ask me anything that you want don't worry i am going to help you happy cried she cried and he started comforting her <laughs> this reminds me she told me sometimes they're like kids they can just call stay on the phone for two hours just looking at each other and kissing <laughs> on the phone just that oh my god love is very very beautiful so yes alex is taking care of her spoiling her you know sending her gifts <laughs> yeah he is in love and she is in love guys the second question if they are talking of the goodies sex talks if alex asks for nude photos <laughs> the answer is no alex never asks for nude photos but when it comes to sex talk yes they sex talk she tells us when you guys love each other it just comes naturally you have to talk about it because you know you can't resist each other but she's not sending her nude photos not doing any online sex they just sex talk to spice up their relationship to keep it alive so guys this couple is still in a long distance relationship but they have started already the paperwork for happy to go to the netherlands to visit alex 
for the first time to get to know him get to know his family and then she will return to tanzania alex will go and that's when they're going to get married but they just want to be together very very soon that is why they have started already the paperwork I'm advising you ladies when you're chatting with a guy please don't waste a lot of time to chat a guy should be clear when are you going to meet and put everything into action not only promises quickly guys what kind of a dating app did happy meet alex she met him on afro introduction she loves that dating app very very much because she says it did her the miracles <laughs> So I want to show you guys how to choose the country of where the man should come from. The one that you're interested in, you have been complaining you get only black men or you get only men from Arab countries. <laughs> so you go on your online dating profile on Afro introduction, go to the menu, I'm going to be showing everything here or here. So in the menu, you will click on that profile where there is a sign of a person. Click on that, it is going to bring lots of features. Among of those features, we are talking of these two. One is interest. This interest is about you, everything about you, what you're looking for, your hobbies, everything, guys and make sure you fill them very very well don't skip anything because a serious guy will come and go through your profile read that about you don't lie fill it very well be honest so the second future that is so so important and this answers your question about the location of men you click on the word match when you click on the match, it is going to bring everything that you're looking for in a man. So you select or you filter according to how you want that man to be. The height, hobbies, if he has kids, separated, divorced, single. <laughs> the country, which is important. So you select the country that you want. All countries in the world exist. Select it and then submit. Voila! <laughs> you will see men from that location that you chose. If it is Europe, you'll see only men from Europe. If it is if it is America, you'll see only men from America. If it is Canada, you'll see men only from Canada. I think that helps you very, very much. That is why I told you, if you skip this video, I will pity you because you won't be able to get this information. So beautiful ladies, I know Happy has given you lots of tips, but still we have more advice that I think will help you if you are on online dating apps searching. Number one advice from Happy is don't give up no matter what. Keep searching. She spent four years on online dating apps, but we see she found the one. So don't be discouraged due to the challenges because there is a man for everyone. Just believe that. So dear friends, we have reached an end of our today's video. Thank you so much for watching till now. God bless you. I will really appreciate to read your comment. I love you so much, guys. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.